Hey guys, welcome to uh, This is God Eater Resurrection, and I'm going to be playing it tonight. I've turned the music down a little. I actually tried recording this once with a, a different character, and um, you can barely hear me over the music, so hopefully it's better now. Um, so I'm going to save this character in this slot, and uh, yeah, I'm making like a female character with purple hair, and she looks really cool. All right, here we go. that a rare one it's strong and to the victor go the spoils old man sakaki's gonna have a fit when he sees this <laughs> i'd like to see some reinforcements out here if we're all done here let's call for expel i'm starved speaking of what are they serving today admittedly i wasn't paying a lot of attention at the last supply meeting wait just remembered some new engineered corn or something oh, you mean that same overgrown corn on the cob fiasco it's so hard to chew. Yeah, we're having a bit of a lean year. We should be glad we're getting fed at all. Hey, Soma, how about a trade, huh? You like corn? Don't think so. Come on, if we're not back soon, we'll get a lot of nothing. Interruption, Director. I believe Norn has found a match. A potential new type God Eater, sir. Very good. Send the data to my personal terminal. Summon them. There's potential, but they must first clear the test.
Congratulations are in order. You are the very first of our new type God Eaters. Brilliant! You have passed the test, and well, now that we're certain you're a God Arc match, we must ensure your welfare with a short physical. Please, wait in the lobby just beyond the door. The doctor will see to you shortly. And do let someone know if you feel unwell. I have great hopes. Sup? Want some gum? Oh, wait, uh... Yeah, totally out. <laughs> I kinda just downed the last piece. So, you were a match too? That makes at least two of us. How old are you anyway? Well, I've still got a nanosecond of experience on you. Pleasure to meet you. Stand. Huh? Stand and to attention, now. Excellent. I've got a busy day planned, so we'll keep this quick. My name is Subaki Amamiya. I am the senior operator here at the Far East, and I'll be your advisor. Your schedule is as follows. A full medical workup followed by a gamut of physical conditioning. You'll be taught basic combat strategies and tactics and given a brief overview of God Arcs and Armament. Until this moment, God Eaters have put their lives on the line to defend you. Now it's your turn to repay them. If you plan on staying alive, every order will be answered and enacted immediately. Understood? Am I understood? Ma'am, yes ma'am. Better. Now, as to your exams, let's begin with you, shall we? Orders are to report to Dr. Paylor Sakaki's office at 1500 hours. Until then, you're free to tour the facility as you wish. Welcome to Fenrir's Far East Branch, which we affectionately call the Den. This is your home now. These teammates, your family. Godspeed. All right, so I am able to tour the facilities until a fluent girl until three o'clock. Excuse me, do you work here? I seem to have got separated from my father. Do you know where my father is? Uh, I've never met him, so I don't know. Hmm. Well, I guess I can ask that operator lady over there. So that's all right. See ya. Okay. Cool. Um, let's see. Mouse doesn't do anything. WASD run around. Space to jump? No. Let's see, anything else? Nope. How about these keys? Okay, I'm not sure. It'll, it'll probably give me tutorials on the controls and stuff. Get on with it. First, to get your med go get your medical checkup. Uh, go up the stairs and take the section elevator to the laboratory. Head toward Dr. Sakaki's laboratory at the far end of the corridor. Laboratory. When you're done with your checkup, I want you to come back here, understand? Yeah, that's like two things, why would I not? Alright, now be on your way. You can use the elevator to travel to different areas. Cool. Is it already, like, close to three? I don't know, what time is it? It's me. Shopkeeper. Well, well, looks like we got ourselves a rookie. If you want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with origami, you'll need my wares. I stock everything from healing items to performance enhancers, and all the basic bullets and the god arc parts you'll ever need. Just listen to me. Replenish your supplies right here. I think my prices are pretty damn good. Alright. I don't have any money. Sell. Oh, look. I have some items that I can sell. How do I have this stuff? Anyway. If I start with it, I might need it, so I'm not going to sell anything yet. Who are you? Lika. Oh, you're the rookie, aren't you? How do you do? I'm Lika Kasunaki. It's nice to meet you. I'll do my best to keep your god arc in top shape to make sure you have no trouble in battle. Oh, you have a checkup at Dr. Sakaki's. Just take the elevator down to the laboratory. It's at the back. Hey, when you have some free time, let's go to lunch later. Yeah, I like lunch. Here's the dude that offered me gum. You're taking the medical checkup first, right? We should probably say hi to everyone while we have the chance. You know what they say, first impressions are the most lasting. 
I guess I should read through the database on the terminal. Did you see how much text there is? No way I can read all that. I haven't. Gin. Not like the drink. Hey, there you are. Being a god eater is tough business. We're despised by some, envied by others. Even so, we're protecting those same people. Ha, huh, but that's just part of. Uh, but that's just an old god eater rabbit. When you're old enough, I'll buy you a drink. See you later. I'm old enough for lunch at least. I don't know how old I am. Actually, Din Gate. Can I do something with this? No. I don't think so. Terminal. You can change and upgrade equipment, craft items, manage your inventory, and save your progress at terminals. Let me save my progress. Yes. Cool. Database. I have a mail. Hint one of two. Here you can check terms used in God Eater and other material based on your progress through the story. Alright. Information on the bullet editor. Origami strengths and weaknesses and other information will help you through the game. Okay. Cool. So what do I have for mail? It's from Koda Fujiki. Nice to meet you. By the way, do you know when my medical checkup is? I think Ms. Tsubaki told me, but I can't remember. I wanted to ask her, but she seems kind of scary. Ah, she's not so scary. But no, I don't. She only told me mine was at 3. That's it. Skill effects. Ooh, health. Yeah. Skill effect levels negative 10 to 10. Increase or decrease maximum hit points. Changes by 5 per level. Okay, I can decrease my hit points. Okay, well I might I might just read through the uh, how to play kind of stuff offline. That'd be good because I don't want to spend most of this episode reading. So this is the section elevator, rookies section, veteran section, laboratory, and the executive section. Are these different difficulties, I wonder? Hmm. Well, I'm supposed to go to the laboratory for my physical, so let's do that. There's no, like, items to interact with, just people so far. Oh, hello there. Oh, so you're the rookie. They said we'd be getting two new kids. You must be on your way to their medical checkup thing. It's at the end of the hall in Dr. Sakaki's time. Doc's a little eccentric, but hey, He's a very kind man. You'll be fine. All right. So this is doctor's lab. What's this one? I don't know. This is the infirmary. Can I go in the infirmary? So this is like after I've had my physical, I'll be laying down in one of these beds probably. I don't know what's involved in the physical, but let's find out. Didn't expect that. You were here precisely 726 seconds before I anticipated. Interesting. I am Paler Sakaki. <laughs> Dr. Paler Sakaki, the chief of Aragami Tech and R&D. I'm certain we'll be seeing quite a lot of each other over the coming days. Welcome aboard, new type. As you can see, I'm still a touch busy at the moment. Things to do, screens to watch, uh... Johannes, why don't you do your speech thing, and then I'll go. Sure. Though, Doctor, I think it is high time you learn to prioritize between work and personal research. Thank you for taking part in the aptitude test. I know it is not pleasant. My name is Johannes von Schicksal. I'm the director of the Far East Branch, reporting directly to Fenrir. Once again, congratulations on your acceptance. I know you shall do great things in your time here. Don't let the speechifying fool you. He's an ex-tech guy. No doubt the new type medical exam is calling to him. A tech guy? Do keep in mind that I hung up my lab coat because we have you now, Doctor. Once a scientist, always a scientist, Johannes. Perhaps. In any case, if I may return to my speechifying. The Fenrir Corporation has many goals, of which you are now a critical part. Your direct duties, while crucial, are rather simple. You God Eaters hunt down and destroy Aragami and gather their materials. These materials are then converted into resources. They help maintain this base, and supply the upcoming Aegis project. These numbers? There's no way they can be right! 
The Aegis Project will defend humanity in our utopia. A fortress at sea, impregnable to origami assault, located near the deepest part of the Sea of Japan. Ah, of course, of course! Once the final phase of the project is complete, humanity will be able to live in peace again, free from these monsters. <laughs> Amazing! The new types are a miracle! Taylor, I am trying to teach something. Oh, right. <laughs> sorry, sorry. It's just these readings. They're beyond our wildest hopes. Then it seems the future of humanity is in good hands. You will do us proud. And on that note, I shall place you in the doctor's hands and take my leave. Paler, be sure to send the results. I believe we're ready to begin. Go ahead and lie down on the bed just there. As the exam begins, you will feel a bit drowsy. I assure you there's nothing to worry about. When you awaken, you'll be in your quarters. It's a, uh, cat nap, so to speak. Shouldn't be more than a few hours. 10,800 seconds at most. Sleep well. Okay, you can access the archive from your ter the terminal in your room, allowing you to watch movies and listen to music. Alright. Not sure if I'll be doing that, but... What do we have here? A stereo? I can't jump? Oh, shoot. Well, the space bar doesn't jump anyway, so I don't know how. Um, let's see, what would you like to do? Uh, let's view some archives. Here you can view past events and listen to music heard in the world of God Eater. Alright. A movie or a BGM? What's a BGM? Let's see. Special. The opening. Nah. The opening I intentionally left out because it had this really killer song with uh, lyrics. I believe this game is like an anime. I'm not familiar with it, but... Uh, yeah, I think it's based on like an anime show that uh, I've only watched a few animes, but I kind of liked them. I just not something that I have time for really. So these are what play God Eater play. These are probably songs. I'm gonna leave that alone for now. So archive is not what I want. I want to save. So open terminal. Save. Okay. I can start a new multiplayer game from here. It says database. Oh yeah, that's that. Okay. Craft. And crafting. Here you can use materials obtained through missions to upgrade equipment and craft new items and materials. Upgrading equipment unlocks new skills and allows previous skills to be inherited, so upgrade often. Alright, let's see. Can I upgrade my melee weapon? When you upgrade your equipment, skills assigned to that equipment are marked with an E. Uh, may, imp may improve. Uh, skills improve, their effects will level up, and new skills will be added. Press the left control button to, and go to the skill info for more details. Okay. So this uh, knife here has an E, so I can upgrade it. So left control. And what can I do? Max H HP increases, changes by 5 per level. Or I can increase my stamina. Um, well, health points, I'm assuming, are pretty obvious. Stamina might be useful, but I don't know at this point. So let's go with health. How do I actually left alt to change skill list? Like, how do I accept? Because inner isn't doing it. Fencer. A skill for melee fighting that strengthens attack abilities. Huh. So we have a skill list and an effect list. Is that right? This is the these are the effects and these are the skills. Okay. Um let's see, do I click on it to select it, maybe? Or maybe maybe I don't have the ability to upgrade it even though it showed me right there. I don't know. Anyway, inner is an upgrading, so that's all I can think to do. Exchange inventory or exchange storage? No. Nope. Lo 
loadout, inventory. All right. Let's see. So these are my quarters, because he said I would wake up in them. And apparently, let's see if I pass my physics or not. I'm in the rookie section. Empty room and Koda's room. And this is shunned. What a puny reward. Rations are getting worse, too. Hey, you're new. Oh, you're one of those rookies. Yeah, we're in the rookie for it. God eaters may get better pay, but it's not nearly enough to cover risk in your life. Listen, just do enough not uh, not to get killed without your life, you're nothing. That's probably good advice. Let's see what Koda has. Oh, I'm not authorized. Shit. Is Koda the guy that offered me bubble gum? I didn't really pay that close of attention. Let's go back to the entrance and see. Uh, yeah, Koda is the guy. Okay. A mission so soon, huh? People here are kind of rough, don't you think? They better not haze rookies. That would suck. <laughs> File for missions with that cute operator girl, right? Then we go through that den gate and it's actual combat. Yeah, I think I'll wait to head over until I'm mentally prepared. Yep. Gotta have your head in the game, dude. What do you say? The same thing? Hey, you look like a little more mature now, Rookie. Don't forget to say hello to Licka over there. That girl is fighting right alongside you, God Eaters. Don't you forget that. Now then, to make up for the lecture, why don't I tell you about weapons and armor? Uh, sure. Tell me about weapons. Melee weapons come in two varieties, blades and pull arms. Which one do you want me to explain? Blades, of course. Bladed weapons are basic as it comes. They're sharp and they cut. Which one do you want to hear more about? Oh my gosh. Um, Buster. I was short and long. I'm pretty self-explanatory. But Buster blades? What the hell is that? That's a powerful weapon with a long reach, but it's slow and will leave you vulnerable. Learn to anticipate the origami's next move and unleash a devastating single blow. Um, charge Crush is a slow charge attack that takes a trained eye to pull off, but when you manage it, boy is the damage huge. Other skills include parrying upper for countering after guarding, and advancing advance guard for blocking quickly after attacking. Buster Blade may be slow, but it comes with a versatile set of defense techniques. Okay. Cool, cool. Now tell me about some armor. Shields, I guess. Uh, bucklers, that's probably the first thing I'll get. Shield with a fast deployment speed, but low defense. Well suited to defending in a pinch, but you're still likely to lose HP even with a successful guard. You'll find it works best when combined with evasive maneuvers. Okay, so how do I do evasive maneuvers? Alright, remember you can get the information on the guns, me the weapon, and shield from the terminal there. So basically, you didn't help me out at all. There's also info on special attacks for every gun and melee weapon. You're best learning, off learning, and probably. Uh, the point is, as long as you don't die, you're good. <laughs> good luck. Alright. Um, not sure, like, I feel like maybe I should read up on that stuff, but at the same time, I kind of want to get into the game. So you're done with your medical checkup. Again, I'm Hibari Takeda, and I oversee mission orders. Now then, let me explain to you about the mission workflow. First, you receive an order for a mission. Then, based on enemy intelligence, you can change your weapons upstairs at the terminal. Uh, you then launch the mission by giving approval at the DIN gate over to the far end upstairs. Do you follow me? Yep. Understood. That's good. I may cause you some inconvenience at times, but I do look forward to working with you. Before you set out, go upstairs and head for the DIN gate at the end of the hall. Okay, so there's two types of missions. Story missions that advance the plot, and free missions. Uh, you may take up to eight of the consumable item stun grenade out onto the mi uh, mission. Surplus grenades will automatically be sent to storage. Right. During multiplayer, the stun grenade carrying limit per player fluctuates depending on the number of players, so be aware that the value may change. Alright, so... So I can go standard mission or extra missions. Okay, she's mission select. What's Tsubaki have to say? Part of work already, I see. Hmm, is this something the matter? 
Uh, I'd like some advice about teamwork strategies. Advice. Um, Devil's Tell. Okay, let's ask about this. First, a little warm up, so to speak. Never let your guard down, but if you're careful with your healing, this isn't a tough thing. It would be a good idea to try out various weapons and items against Aragami on this one, of this one. Okay. And teamwork strategies? Ooh, cool. Link aid and link burst. Let's see. If a comrade is knocked out, run over and perform link aid by uh, press the E button when you're next to them. Sharing half of your health, you can restore a comrade. Okay, scattering targets, boosting firepower, their survival improves your own odds. Look after them. Alright, then link first. Fire an origami bullet at your comrade. You can boost them up to three levels in link first status. When you devour an origami, you'll get an origami bullet. When your god arc is uh, in its gun form, you're best off passing them to an ally. Naturally, your comrades can give you origami bullets too. Getting one will engage Link Burst, which greatly increases your abilities. You'll receive a boost in speed and stamina, as well as gain the ability to jump in midair. You'll also consider a condensed origami bullet, a shot infused with their support. Don't miss. Alright. Uh, Alright, I'm fine. I see very well then. In that case, proceed with your mission, which I get from this lady, I guess. And then this is the shopkeeper. So I guess I passed my physical and didn't really say much about it. Let me go check the doctor. What do you have to say? Cannon? Oh, are you all done? So are you used to the gym yet? No, I just got here. I understand. To tell you the truth, neither am I, and I keep getting lost. It's been quite a while already, but my instructor is always yelling and saying I'm stuck in rookie mode. <laughs> That'll probably be me. Alright, let's see. Infirmary? Anyone in here? No? Nothing? Alright. I can't seem to go in the left door, can I? Nope. Alright. And you're not authorized to enter. Okay, so I can't go see the doctor. So I just have to assume that I passed my physical and I'm A-OK. -okay. Alright, well we got this started. I'm going to um, wrap this episode up here and then we'll try our first mission in the next one. Thanks for watching guys. Um, if you like, then like and uh, feel free to subscribe of course. I'd love to see uh, more views on my videos and stuff. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.